Oh my gosh, of course it'll be Kate and William. <gasps> Kate and William, this is their house. Silly me. Of course it's Kate and William. <laughs> Kate, we've got to stay here. This is, oh my God. This is why we live in this city. Hello, good morning. So, if you are watching me on YouTube, which obviously you are, then you are a fan of YouTube. I don't know how many people you follow or how many people you've subscribed to. What's the matter, Matilda? Matilda's here making a noise. We're in um, South London. Are you all right? Uh, she's so low down, you can't see her. Anyway, um, it's very early in the morning. We are in South London, and we are here to record a very, very popular YouTuber for my Dogs in the City podcast. And the reason I'm so excited about this is I follow her on YouTube. I don't know how many of you have heard of her before, whether you want to go and look at her uh, channel and her Instagram. She is a young Instagrammer. She has over a million subscribers. And I follow her because she really intrigues me. Her name is Estée Lalonde, and she's from Canada, but she came over to London without knowing anyone, really. Without, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if she even had a job, but she came over here. I say that because she created her own brand and I so admire these people for doing it on uh, social media. I really admire them and especially her. I, she has great integrity and I'm, I'm just very excited to meet her and her dog Reggie. She has a greyhound called Reggie who's almost as old as Matilda. Here's Matilda. Hello Matilda, good morning. Are you alright this morning? Matilda's in a bit of a mood. Uh, she is in a bit of a mood and I don't know if Estee's dog Reggie is even going to be here because he's he's I think he's older than Matilda and he doesn't always want to walk so we may we may be cheating it and pretending he's here safeguarding trust and everything for the BBC or he may be there I don't know but anyway so that's my morning um, and I'm gonna meet Kate in this fantastic little uh, calf up here um, and um, and then see what's happening in the rest of the week it's so cold. Yesterday we were all in sundresses. Today I'm in like my winter gear. But anyway, let's set off. So look at this cute little place. We're gonna have coffee. I'm gonna meet Kate in here. Actually, I'm gonna put on my BBC um, badge. I never usually wear it. I'm gonna wear it today just so <clears throat> they let me bring the doggy. So have a look in here. It's amazing. Hello. You are dog friendly, aren't you? Lovely. Now have a black Americano, please. That's it at the moment, thanks. the dog behind you. Do you remember Eric? We met him. Yes, we met him. That's Eric. I do. He's in one of our podcasts. He's in our podcast. Uh, look at him. He's having breakfast here. Kate. No, get a coffee. I've got a tab running. So have whatever you want. Are you excited? So excited. You know she's not bringing her dog. She's definitely not. No, but I think that we'll, we'll be honest about it. That's fine. I think we'll say why, because it, because it's an old dog with a bad foot, and I think it's quite interesting talking about that because Matilda's old and she hasn't been on every one of our podcasts. Let's make it yeah, exactly. Eric, yeah. are we recording? There should be a red button. Yes, we Matilda, are. Matilda, you're beautiful. 
So Estée Lalonde, what is your favourite walk in London with your dog Reggie? Well, there are so many places to walk in London, obviously, but I think Battersea Park is probably one of my favourites. It's such a gorgeous park. It's so big, all that nature and trees. And I also love Kennington Park, which isn't necessarily like the most touristy park, I could say, <laughs> but it's really nice. And it's raining and our hair's going to frizz, but can you please have a look at her jewellery? Because it's all, da it's by Daisy yes. and there is a Daisy, but it's all different. <laughs> and this is her own design. Yes, it is. We work very hard on this. Thank you. Pleasure. I have to get you some. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm out of focus as well. Hello. Um been a long day. Matilda and I just having a bit of a rest before I have my bath. Tomorrow, more of the same. Tomorrow, another podcast. And we will be in Kensington. Matilda, I just wish I could fall asleep on this sofa, actually. I'm so tired, but I'm just looking. It's quite late, but it's really light. And there's a crane now. I've got all these lights outside my window of the London Eye, what's happened to my hair? And Beatty Tower and everything lit up. Gosh, hello. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Do you know, I actually, sometimes I think I just film this completely out of focus, but there's a crane now right outside my window with a red light, Matilda. Yes, we've got a new crane. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this off and um, have a bath, go to bed and tomorrow, as I say, another episode of the podcast. We're trying to cram them all in because I'm going to be away for five days in Austria. So we're trying to bank them up. Have a look at this crane. So, I'll see you in the morning. Come on, Tilde. Beam me up, Scotty. That would be the best thing. I'm here to record an episode of the podcast for Dogs in the City about Queen Victoria. The reason why there are so many dogs in the Royal Parks and the way they are all allowed to run free is because of the Royal Family, because they are so dog friendly. And it all started with Queen Victoria. She actually brought in, hello, good morning. Oh. Claudia, yeah. <laughs> I'm just doing a piece to camera. Sorry, I got interrupted there by <laughs> uh, the guests that we're about to interview. Uh, yes, so uh, the Royal Parks encouraged dogs in a way, and it all came down to Queen Victoria, who brought many breeds, many pedigrees um, into the country. And the podcast is about her dog, Dash, that grew up with her here. This was her childhood home, Kensington Palace and um, we're going to go in there. Now, it's only eight o'clock in the morning. I am really tired from yesterday's early start and Kate, who I'm meeting, she's got kids and she lives way out the other side of London. So 
good for her to get here so early but oh my goodness it's a beautiful morning and you know these parks are just lovely and um, there are so many different breeds of dogs in London that's what I love and yeah they're all out here having their early morning stroll I can't bring Matilda because she's not allowed in the palace and she's quite happy actually she had a very busy day yesterday with Estée Lalonde Oh, Kate, I am knackered. Aren't you tired? I am flattered. I don't day know. Two. Day two. I was just telling everyone. I mean, I only live over there. Kate has two children. At the moment, she has three children. <laughs> she has two, two children of her own and her another niece. child, her, her niece. And I am absolutely knackered. I did get up at the wrong tube, that's why I'm slightly no. late. I, I was like, oh, where am I going? Oh, I'm South Kensington. Oh I my God. To Kensington High Street. But it's um, fine, we're here. We're, we're here, I ate a croissant. So did I. Uh, yes. See, but I thought we need Hat to pack the carbs, don't to, exactly. we? Exactly. And a coffee. And a coffee, absolutely. So we go around the yes. sideway, Kate. Let's go. I am looking forward so to this. Excited. I am really And the sun's shining. It's beautiful. It's oh, I've got my outfit beautiful. wrong because yesterday I put sunny clothes on and today it's it was raining and today it's boiling hot how good was yesterday so good. what was the song Estée Lalonde sang oh, don't make me <laughs> sing it Joe. I've been singing it all night in my head it's go like on one of those, uh, he's got whiskers he's got toes he's got peanut butter on his nose I can't believe I just did that as mad as I am anyway here we go <laughs> Claudia can you just explain this very significant painting of Queen Victoria's very first Privy Council and why Dash, her dog, plays a role in it. Yes, okay, so this is, this is um, a copy of the David Wilkie painting of Victoria's first Privy Council. And, um, and Victoria's just 18, this is the first day that she's become Queen. Um, she, has, she walks into this room where she's confronted by 97 of the most important statesmen, members of the royal family and clergy in Britain. Um, and you can see in the painting that in the bottom left-hand corner there's a little pile of cushions um, with no real explanation. And uh, what we've discovered is that Dash was actually there on that day. He was sat on those cushions. Um, and that in the sort of final finishing of the painting, he was painted out. There we go. Dash! <laughs> Hang on, let me just wait. Sorry, Joe, he's, yeah, he's right. gone into the corner. Yeah, move around. Sit still. God, he's gone, sorry. Talk to Dash. Dash. Dash, here. Dash. Dash. Brilliant. Brilliant. Kate. To have stumbled into some <laughs> trumpers. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh my god. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Do we know who's arriving? I don't know. Maybe you can ask. I know. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll, 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 me holding a camera. <laughs> I'll ask. Excuse me. Do we know who. Well, you obviously know. Who's arrived or leaving? Arriving. arriving. Two people leaving. Yeah. So it's not Trump because he's in Portsmouth. Yeah, no, it's not. No, no. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. Royal. If you don't recognise them. <laughs> I have no right to work for the BBC. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course it'll be Kate and William. <gasps> Kate and William, this is their house. Silly me. Of course it's Kate and William. <laughs> Kate, we got to stay here. This is, oh my God. This is why we live in this city, because you never know what's going to happen. And this is why we have the best police force, because any other country, you never ask a policeman anything, but here, they're really friendly. You are right. Anything can happen. <laughs> Gosh, I, that means it may not be Kate and William. I think that looks more royally helicopter out that there. I think that looks like the helper. But they've got to come out here, haven't they? Yeah, they've got to come out that. They've got to walk all the way over to that helicopter. No, they'll be... Oh, you're right, Kate. She's a journalist and I'm not, you see, so they will go... They'll be driven down to that one. We should, maybe we'll wait in between. So this, these are... Um, security. Oh, my God, what will they be wearing, Kate? It's glorious, I imagine. <gasps> Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Charles! Prince Charles, am I allowed to shout? Yes. Charles! I think I think you call Sir, don't you? Oh, do I call Sir? Sir! But it was Prince Charles. Shorter than I thought. He's tiny. Yes, he is tiny. He's tiny. He's the... about my height. Really? Yes. Do you come here and watch this often? No, I don't. It's pure chance. I'm here. No, I don't. Um, I did see Megan. Uh, <gasps> uh, no. I, 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 it's about six months ago. Re from here? Getting into a helicopter. Yes. No. When, when they were still in the cottage. Oh, yeah, they were still, yeah, in the cottage. But, but oh. no, you won't see them now. No. So now it's the Queen, and we assume she's had a sleepover. <gasps> oh! 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 Look at her! Oh, how exciting! This is amazing! She's in coral. What do you think of uh, my new dress? It's like a great big smock, but it's absolutely lovely in um, this weather because it's quite warm, but it's quite summery, so I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, listen, what a week. So um, I saw the Queen from a distance. I saw Prince Charles from a distance, and I saw Estée Lalonde close up. Um, I am so proud of that podcast with her. It's probably my favorite. I don't know why. I just... I find it far easier interviewing people when I'm walking by the side of them with their dog. And she, as I say, she is a YouTuber that I've wanted to meet for some time. If you want to find out more about her, I put her link below. Um, and the Queen, if you want to find out more about the Queen, I put her link where I'm joking. Um, so I'm off next week to Austria, but I am taking you with me. So I will post, I will post next Sunday at the usual time at 11. Um, thanks to all of you. Oh my gosh, how long is it going to take me to get to 6,000 subscribers? I'm just clambering up that wall slowly. But, but we're a nice little community, so thanks to all of you out there who have subscribed. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, have a great week. Here's this week's Walkers. Bye! I'm walking, here's the knee and I'm talking.